Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the Avid Tent Camper again. Today I want to talk about how to plan safe and comfortable tent camping vacations to public campgrounds, state and federal parks that may be located many miles away from your home and campgrounds that you may have never visited before. For example, how should a family living in Huntsville, Alabama plan a camping trip up to Traverse City, Michigan. Most of this information is not available in any other camping book, and so I had to learn it by painful trial and error experiences over the first 35 years of my camping life. In my younger years, my former wife and I embarked on such trips with very little planning. Typically, we decided where we wanted to go and whether or not we would pack a tent and just wing the rest of the trip. We usually packed some camping equipment the night before the trip and departed the next day as soon as we could get off from work, usually about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Then we drove as far as we could. If our destination was within 200 miles, we usually arrived at our campsite by 9 or 10 p.m. and hoped to secure a campsite. The office was frequently closed, but we usually were able to find a campsite, but sometimes we couldn't. After securing a campsite, we frequently set up our tent in the dark. Sometimes we set it up after other campers had gone to bed. If our destination was more than 200 miles away, we tried to drive all night long, but frequently had to stop to sleep. Sometimes we slept in crowded RV parks, sometimes in cheap motels, and other times we just slept in the car. As a result of poor planning, we spent a lot of valuable travel time and experienced a lot of stress looking for places to sleep on busy summer weekends. After several years of repeated problems, we realized that we needed to call ahead to see if a campsite was available, but only made these calls a few hours before we expected to arrive. Over the years, I gradually learned how to plan our trips better and avoid a lot of stress. Recently, I realized that many other camping families do not know how to plan long-distance camping trips and consequently waste thousands of dollars staying in expensive motels and eating in expensive restaurants. Therefore, I decided to explain how to plan economical long-distance tent camping vacation trips that may include one or more temporary overnight camps along the way. Here are my suggestions. Begin planning as early as possible. Plan major summer trips, especially July trips, during the preceding winter. Use maps, tourism brochures, and the internet to define your general destination and travel routes. Obtain a calendar and mark the dates of your trip. Office supply stores begin stocking calendars in August for the next year. If you don't have children, mid-May and mid-September are great times to plan camping trips because the weather is mild, campgrounds are less crowded, and campsites are easy to reserve. If you do have children, Early June and mid-August are reasonably good times. The 4th of July week is the worst time because popular campgrounds fill several months ahead. Memorial Day and Labor Day weekends are also bad times to plan camping trips. To secure a good campsite in a popular campground for these dates, you must reserve it 6 to 12 months in advance. When Overnight camps are necessary. Plan them to fall on weekdays because many campgrounds do not accept one-night 
reservations on weekends. Use guidebooks, maps, and the internet to find safe and comfortable campgrounds near your final destination and travel route. If you're traveling anywhere in the Lake Michigan state, such as Traverse City, Michigan, you can find most of this information in my Family Camping Guide to Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, and Indiana. Hopefully, I can complete a similar guide for the southeastern states in a year or two. When traveling to other states, you can find a lot of useful information in Camping with the Corps of Engineers, the National Park Service Camping Guide, Woodall's North American Campground Directory, Best Intent Camping Books, Falcon Guides to Selected States, and the National Forest Campground Directory on the Internet. Select campsites and reserve them as early as possible. You can watch my campsite selection video to learn how to select good camps and campgrounds that you may have never visited before and how to reserve them. If your final destination is more than 400 miles away from your home, select a campground about 350 miles from your home and reserve a campsite there. Select another campground about 350 miles along your travel route home and reserve a campsite there also. During the winter months, you also need to learn better ways to set up and maintain comfortable and enjoyable camps. To find this information, read my basic tent camping book and watch my other modern tent camping videos. This book and these videos provide a considerable amount of useful information about modern tent camping equipment and procedures. Acquire good quality clothing and equipment that can be packed into a small space. Organize this equipment into seven groups, shelter, bedding, tools, furniture, medical supplies, kitchen equipment, and personal items. Pack each equipment group into a compact container so that important items can be easily found when needed. This photo shows our bedding packed in a large duffel bag, my personal items packed in a backpack, and our tools packed in a tool bag. A few weeks before your departure, check your equipment and supplies to make sure all needed items have been packed. Plan your meals. You can watch my meals video to learn several strategies for meal planning. And plan activities and purchase your tickets if necessary. One week before your departure, use a packing list such as the one found in my basic tent camping book, to be sure that all needed items have been included. Select clothing for hot, cold, and rainy weather, and pack these garments into small duffel bags and day packs. Repackage non-perishable foods such as sugar, rice, and flour into small plastic jars and pack these jars into milk crates along with your canned and boxed foods. On the day before your departure, pack your camping equipment, clothing, and food in your car. Pack perishable foods such as fresh fruit and vegetables, milk, eggs, butter, cheese, and meat into a cooler. We like a 50-quart cooler without wheels because it is large enough to hold food for several days but small enough to fit into our packing space. Families with smaller vehicles may have to use smaller coolers. After packing your car, buy ice and gas and make sure you have sufficient cash and credit cards for the trip. On the day of your departure, 
Use a GPS receiver and maps to navigate to your destinations. Depart early in the morning. Since we live about two hours south of Nashville, Tennessee, we plan to depart about 5 a.m. so that we can get through the city before the morning rush hour. Obey speed limits and take frequent breaks. Avoid driving through large cities during morning or afternoon rush hour and late Sunday afternoon. Avoid driving after dark. Limit your daily travel distance to about 400 miles and your driving time to 8 hours. Plan to arrive at your campground by mid-afternoon. This early arrival allows plenty of time to register, set up your camp, swim, and explore the area before dark. Well, I hope you've learned a few new ideas about how to plan safe and comfortable camping trips to campgrounds located many miles away from your home. And I hope that you will share this video with your friends on social media. For more information, please visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com and view my other videos in this modern tent camping series. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping!